Hello there, my name is Sam Squalo and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now in today's video, today is going to be a very important day. So I decided to cover the topic of the peak inflation and whether the peak inflation is in or not. And there are quite a few, um, you know, like underwater factors, so to speak, that you really have to pay attention to so that you don't get confused with the current outgoing uh, CPI that is going to be released today at 8.30 a.m. Eastern time. And this is something that is going to be like super mega important. And let me know down in the comments if you want me to do a live stream later today when the CPI data is going to come out because I'll potentially uh, flip from short to long potentially and for that reason I uh, really wanted for you to watch this video from the beginning and until the end because today is very crucial and we're certainly going to talk about you know how is this going to affect Bitcoin in a immediate short-term perspective for sure so first things first if you're brand new to the channel hit that subscribe button hit that like button and also don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you're always notified when i make a new upload and guys and girls my lovely youtube community there is a share button below this video right here on youtube which allows you to share this video with your friends and family members on your social media but only if you feel, feel like doing so but it would help all the channel grow tremendously but at least a like and a comment down below would be sufficient all right so anyway let's just jump right into it and as I just said, we are waiting for the CPI data, the report on inflation basically to come out in about a few hours now, 8.30 a.m. Eastern time. So basically, what are we expecting and how can we use this as a fundamental catalyst for either a climbing prices or falling prices? We need to understand the actual expectations that the market has. And for that, we can actually go and always find it somewhere on Google. And that currently economists are ex expecting uh, that uh, overall prices in June expected to come in 8.8% higher than last year. So let's go to the CPI right here. Let's go to this latest release um, right here. And let's take a look. So it, it was 8.6, as you can see right here. So they're actually expecting an increase so they're expecting cpi to give us bad data it's you know it's expected that we're gonna see higher inflation basically is what it uh, says right here making it a rise from 8.c uh, 8.6 jump between may uh 2021 and may 2022 meanwhile the core cpi which is right here which is all items less food and energy so without food and energy which has been uh, 6.0 right here as we can see uh, what they're expecting for this one is expected to rise 5.7 percent according to consensus consensus estimates so ba oh, not this one so basically what they're saying is that uh, this one is going to increase because it includes food and energy etc and this one is actually going to drop down and it's going to be a good thing so they're expecting 5.7 for this one so this is pretty much the measure that we are expecting and if we're going to see something like you know nine instead of 8.8 .8, this is going to be really bad and for example instead of 5.7 here we're gonna see something like 5.9 or 6 uh, so it's gonna stay at the same level that's gonna be really bad and that's when I'm actually gonna keep my short trade that is still open over on bid get breaking in just a small profit again small short trade but nonetheless still nice uh, a small profit of about three thousand dollars and if you want to be trading actively yourself you can do it over on bid get or on buy bit and down in the description or in the pinned comment you'll find yourself up to twelve thousand one hundred dollars in initial deposit bonuses four thousand one hundred dollars with buy bit and up to eight thousand dollars in initial deposit bonuses with bitget and here i'm gonna link a yesterday's video where i did you know about cool passive income that you can earn on bitget and different hacks and tricks that you can use for yourself in the world of crypto to asset earn passive income so check it out and basically right now what i'm waiting for and what i really want to see is uh, these numbers come out at you know if they're going to be better than expected then certainly uh, i'm going to potentially at least close my short trade and then i'm going to see some kind of a rebound in bitcoin potentially to retest this area of this channel that we're seeing right here at about 20,000 22,500 just this is what the price is waiting for because we're currently hovering we're trying we're currently retesting again this support previously from this channel and we are waiting for these cpi numbers but guys and girls that's not it for this video we're almost finished but what you have to understand is that white house and this is what this whole article is about is saying that the inflation data is already out of date and why that is and the answer to it is actually gonna lie in the oil price so we're gonna see that even though they're expecting the inflation numbers the CPI to come out really bad if we're gonna go to the oil chart uh, real quick then we're gonna see that in the recent weeks we've seen a big sell-off in oil a drop of about 
23 24 percent right here and guess where it started it started around this area which was basically already in june so this cpi that is going to currently come out um let's go back so this cpi that is going to be released today is not going to be inclusive of this it's not going to factor in this drop in the oil price so what they're saying here in this article and i'm very inclined to agree is that the cp the personal consumptions expenditures price index is going to be far more important and it's this one right here the pce data that is going to come out on july the 29th which will definitely account for the drop in price of the oil and the gas and other essential goods like food etc so potentially and the, you know to answer the question of this whole video is potentially 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 the peak inflation in or not with the current rate at which Fed is tightening its monetary policy and the answer is yes but only if the oil stays below if it only because we had this very important support in oil price right here since like 2020 and now we just broke it but we just broke it just like we had broken it before so we really want to stay below this crucial support and if it's going to be the case remember that the past readings in inflation were terrible because of increased food and um, energy costs which now because of the drop in the oil price is going to be reduced so therefore we're going to definitely see a peak in inflation which what it means what does it mean for bitcoin that means that we'll finally see a relief rally in bitcoin and all the high-risk assets as well well i didn't draw it correctly maybe something like this and this is going to be potentially potentially the beginning of the end for this whole shenanigans and this whole terrible bear market when the fed is going to see that they're you know tackling inflation professionally and efficiently and they're going to finally you know slow down with their quantitative tightening and get transition smoothly into quantitative easing potentially in 2023 if everything lines up and oil doesn't explode again so that's all that i have for you guys and girls today and here's going to be a full tutorial to bit gets copy trading if you haven't seen it check it out it's a really cool method of doing nothing and having other traders trade for you and it's a detailed tutorial on how to do on how to do it and uh, all the bonuses down below as always and stay smart stay rich and i'll see you in the next video Bye bye